So what exactly is a conglomerate? Well, it's a type of sedimentary rock made up of rounded pebbles, cobbles, or even small boulders that got cemented together over time. Think of it like nature's concrete. Loose gravel gets trapped in mud, sand, and mineral cement, then gets squeezed together over thousands, even millions of years. The end result? A rock that looks like a geological fruitcake. To make a conglomerate, you need energy. Lots of it. These rocks form in high-energy environments like fast-moving rivers, powerful ocean waves, or even ancient landslides. Basically, anywhere water or gravity can pick up chunks of rock and smash them together. Over time, those pebbles settle in one spot, and minerals like quartz or calcite glue them all together like nature's superglue. Then, thanks to pressure from overlying layers and a little thing called lithification, fancy word for turning into stone, you get a conglomerate. Now before you go calling every rock with chunks in it a conglomerate, here's a quick tip. Look at the shape of the pieces inside. If they're rounded, it's a conglomerate. If they're sharp and angular, you've got yourself a breccia. Rounded means the pieces tumbled around in water before getting stuck together, while jagged edges mean they didn't travel far before lithification. So where can you find this bad boy? Conglomerates are all over the place, from ancient riverbeds to the bases of mountain ranges. Some famous conglomerates include the Shawangunk Conglomerate in New York, the Puddingstone Conglomerate in Massachusetts, and even the Ventersdorp Conglomerate in South Africa which is over 2.7 billion years old. That's older than some of your conspiracy theories. Okay, but why should you care? Well conglomerates can tell us a lot about Earth's history. By studying the size, type, and composition of the pebbles inside, geologists can reconstruct ancient rivers, floods, or coastlines from millions of years ago. Some even contain fossils, gold, or other valuable minerals. So if you're into treasure hunting, don't sleep on conglomerates. And speaking of treasure hunting, I've been digging up some interesting conglomerates right here in New Jersey. Could they contain gold? Maybe some weird fossils? Stick around because I'm going to break them down in future videos. And if you've ever found a wild-looking conglomerate, drop a comment below. I want to see what's hiding in your backyard. So to wrap it up, Conglomerates are like nature's mixtape, holding together bits and pieces of ancient landscapes. They form in high-energy environments, come in all shapes and sizes, and might just hold some geological secrets waiting to be cracked open. If you liked this deep dive into the world of conglomerates, hit that like button, subscribe for more rock talk, and I'll see you next time here on Jersey Ore. Keep digging, keep questioning, and keep rocking!